Hey guys, we are back with some more Toronto GM mode, and uh, you guys know how I work. Gotta start off the episode with a bang. We're gonna make a trade here, uh, although I do think that this trade will speed up the rebuild process quite a bit, at least defensively. So, I want to trade... Hold on, let's sort this. I want to trade Jerry Cowan, uh, and a few minor league players here, I think. Uh, just gonna... Yeah, this guy... I think the other guy was a center. Yeah, this guy. Because uh, it, it's just adding value to this. It's a pretty big trade here. Uh, who else is in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the point of drafting two goalie goalies was to see who had a better potential. And it does seem like this Raymakers guy has... Yeah, he's the four and a half gold star. And his trade value is twice as more as Gramet Bauer. So we're going to trade Gramet Bauer because it seems like, again, that Raymakers is going to be the goalie of the future for us. So we're going to get him in there. And we're also going to get a third in there. Uh, and now, uh, <laughs> I know that doesn't sound like rebuilding. But when you consider what we're getting back, we're getting back a second. And we're also getting back Tyson Berry. Now, I think, again, this is going to speed up the building rebuilding process. Uh, by at least two years, I'd say, because look at that potential. He got four and a half gold star potential. Then his his offense is uh pretty pretty well uh <laughs> rounded out, and uh, he's not sh too shabby defensively either. And when you compare that to Jared Cowan, which is the main piece of the NHL puzzle, we'll give it up here. His offensive stats really are not that impressive, and uh, I mean he's he's uh. I'd say he's on par defensively with um, uh, Barry, maybe a little better. Uh, he, he's got the physical category, but he doesn't have much else on uh, Tyson Barry. And plus, we're getting his second back, so we're and we're we're only giving up a third. Actually, I might be giving up a little. This might be overextending a little bit. Let's see if I could take the third off. Uh, yeah, just get a fourth on there, just just so we're not uh, making them mad or anything. So. I think this should work because they want these four guys here. They don't want to give up Barry, but they do want to get get these four guys in their hands, uh, and they do want to give up that give up that second. So, I I think th this should go through. Let's let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get that let's get that third in there then. See if this will go through. All right. Oh yeah. Sweeten the value just a touch. So let's see. Um. What can we do? What can we do? Uh. Not adding anything on their side. Maybe... No. We we got some pretty decent prospects in there. Uh, maybe we, do we retain a little... Just a little bit of Cowan's cap? Would that work? No. Alright. So... What if we just got this trade... Without the second? And maybe just got a fourth... And a fifth in there. I know that might not... Eh, you know what? Let, let's get a third for next year. Yeah, I feel like we'll get more value out of that. I mean, they don't want to give that up, but it might help it go through. Yeah. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll get... We'll uh, we'll get another fourth for this year, then. Will that go through? Yes, it will. All right. So, we did a... Uh, Pretty nice trade there. We got, uh, I, I'd say, a, a solid top two defenseman of the future in Tyson Berry and of the present because he's second best defenseman on the team. So we are going to move him up with Morgan Riley. That's going to be a nice pair, man. That really will be with that uh, that offense from Morgan Riley and just the two-way game from Tyson Berry. That'd be, that'll be pretty nice. And then Gardner and Demers, or maybe Gardner and Marincin because Marincin's got the potential. Uh, what's Gardner looking like? Uh, he's more of a defensive defenseman, I'd say. Um, I mean, he's got an 89 passing and buck control, fair enough, but I'm looking at uh, mainly defense and the shooting categories here. Yeah, I'll leave the mirrors up here. I don't think Marincin's going to grow too much more. So we'll just leave him down there with Corrado. And uh, that looks like a pretty good pairing anyway with Corrado and Merchant. 
Power play, let's see. Yeah, got to get um, Tyson Berry on here. So, Barry, Mer uh, Bar I don't know why I said, almost said uh, Marinch in there. Uh, Morgan Riley, and then Van Reeves, Dyke, Kadri. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Hodgson, I guess? Yeah, he's still got potential. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, let's move him up, him up there, see see what he can do. Uh, but that that's two playmakers and a power forward. Well, the power forward is almost like the sniper that, there on that line. Maybe we get uh, Alex Kaloran on there. I don't know. We'll just go with this for now. See how that works. Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, I want to switch up the centers here. Oh, nope, nope. Not like that. Uh, I want to put Kalor in the middle. Grab her on the wing. Uh, Four-man power play. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, no, actually, no. <laughs> gotta get. Uh, gotta get Barry on there. Uh, Barry for now. Penalty kill. Yeah, actually, he can. Barry can hold his own uh, defensively. I just want him to grow, and right now he he looks better defensively than most of the defensemen on our team. So, yeah, why not leave Barry on the uh, penalty kill as well? Get him as much experience as possible. Maybe he get up get up to a ninety like Riley. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, put Barry there, Gardner there with Demers. Uh, oh yeah, William Nylander. He's on the team this year. I haven't looked at uh, <laughs> five on five. Yeah, have I? Uh, no, I have not. So, let's see. Yeah, Nylander. What to do with Nylander? He's an 82 overall, so he's definitely playing in the NHL this year. It's just a matter of where. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, just maybe second line, because that he's got a not 85 offensive awareness. That's not bad, to be honest. Uh, he's, he's he, remember, because the, uh, it, it's probably the defensive and physical categories bringing him down is what I'm thinking. If if those were up there, he'd be up at like an 85, 86. So I'm thinking, yeah, just leave Nylander on the second line. Because remember, remember what we did with Hansik in Vancouver. We sort of, uh, he he tore it up as an 80 overall on the third line. And then what, he grew to like an 82, 83 uh, the next year. And he just obviously grew into one of our best players we've ever had in GM mode on this channel so um i think yeah i think i want to play nylander on the second line he can go with kaloran and holland nah I, I don't think i want two playmakers together oh god excuse me i don't think i want two playmakers together on five and five the thing is like there's too many defensive minded guys here there's no real snipers besides uh Van der Riemsdijk and Grabner. You know what? Maybe I move Grabner down to the second line to help out with Nylander and then move Komarov up to the first line with Kadri and Van der Riemsdijk. If that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just trying to think here. Uh, maybe as well move up Lievo since he's got the potential uh, to the third line. Maybe switch him with Greening. Yeah, switch him with Greening. And then, uh, you know what, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put Hodgson and Holland on the same line. That'll be fine. I don't mind. We'll get, a, get two playmakers and a two-way forward. If they start, if they if we start losing games because of the third line, then I'll obviously make a change. But for now, let's just see how that do, how that does. Uh, so, Lievo's a right wing. I'll put Hodgson on the left wing. Is Hodgson a lefty? No, he's a righty. Uh, my name is Lievo. He's a righty. All right, he can get that one-timer. He's the two-way forward, so... Actually, ho hold on, hold on. Who has the better face-offs, Holland or... Holland has a 76. What's Hodgson? 72. All right, yeah, we'll leave Holland in the middle. Now, <laughs> out of these three, who has the best face-offs? Oh, God. 60 for Martin. I'm guessing a 60 for Stewart. Yep, 60. And Greening, I'm guessing 60 as well. Yep, 60. All right, so... Really doesn't matter who takes the face-offs there, so we'll just leave Stewart in the middle. He's the most talented out of the uh, the three. Uh, but other than that, I think that's it for at least for five on five line changes. Yeah, because I went, <laughs> I just went directly to uh, uh, defensive pair. I didn't want to forget Barry. So I think that's it in terms of line changes. So oh man, this has already been ten minute view. Uh, yeah, let's get out of this screen and we'll get some simulating done here.
Uh, actually, though, <laughs> get the scouting done first. That's always important. Uh, we don't necessarily need a goaltender since we already got that done in the last draft. Uh, I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking forwards. I mean, we don't really need too many prospects at this point. We're, we're pretty stacked, <laughs> I'll be honest. So, um, I, I really... I'm, but, I mean, you know, all the prospects that we can get, I guess, at this point, you know, the more trade value, the better. So, I'm going to check the GM tracker real quick. I don't know why I do this so often. <laughs> I guess it's uh, just a habit. Man, I really got to make a better habit of... Uh, <laughs> checking the uh, awards and the play after. You know, I'll do that right now. I'll check the awards. Did I check that last time? I don't even remember. I'll just go through it real quick. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> what am I even doing? I don't I don't, I don't know, boys. Uh, So, yeah, well, uh, <sighs> did, hold on. I, I didn't even check how many players we have on our roster. Do we have 18? I'm sorry, boys. I'm 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 just trying to I'm just trying to think here. Oh, Mitch Marner, yeah, he, Mitch Marner's not playing. Neither is Leipzig or or Yanmark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you know I'd rather Yanmark be playing. He's he's younger than than Greening. And then what about Leipzig? Uh, yeah, Leipzig should be playing as well. Marner, I don't think I want playing yet. I I again I still want him to grow because he's he's top six or bust, right? So yeah, we'll send him down to the yeah juniors. Now it's a matter of Yanmark and Lepsik. Yeah, I don't think I want Greening playing. Yeah, he can go down the minors. Uh, so that'll make room for Yanmark, I think. Because he's a pretty good sniper. Now, what to do with Lepsik? Uh, I'm trying to see where he would fit in, if anywhere. I don't like that defensive category as a two-way forward. Lievo's already a, already a fourth-line forward, apparently. Cause, probably because his physical category. Yeah, he doesn't... Uh, yeah, Leipzig, he's... He honestly looks more like a top-six type of two-way forward. So, you know, I'm going to send Leipzig down on the minors. Yeah, we'll get Janmark in there, though. Uh, where's Janmark? He's a left winger? Yeah. All right, so... And actually, I'll move Lievel down here. Since I, I kind of want Ian Mark to be scoring goals. So, I mean, that's his role. So, <laughs> uh, that looks pretty good, honestly. Uh, oh, power play. Uh, now I got to do this all over again. I, I, I think I should move... Uh, Komarov off the power play, move Hodgson in the middle there, and then put Yanmark on the first line uh, power play, just so we can grow. I feel like we need to grow Yanmark a little bit, so there you go. Alright, just going to make sure there's no other errors here on these lines, then we can get going. And there we go, looks like everything's set. So with that... We can finally get underway with this uh, simulation here. Man, almost 14 minutes into this video. And I haven't even done semi simulation yet, but we'll we'll get that done now. Let's, uh, let's see how our team performs here. Actually, I'm just going to make sure is our uh, injuries off. Don't want any of them popping up. All right, yeah, good. Good, good, good. good. Let's get this going, boys. Game one of the preseason against Tampa Bay. Let's go. So first period. All right, 0-0. Zero, zero. Second period. There you go, 2-1. Third period. Oh, they tied it up. Uh, but there you go. We won an OT. Tyson Berry. What a, what a, uh, what a pickup he was <laughs> to, to start the season. There you go. Berry had an assist as well. Very nice. Uh, and actually, we'll check the captains out real quick. I think it's Morgan Riley who's our captain. Uh, yeah, it is. And then Kadri and Van Riemsdyk is the alternates. So, yeah, there you go. These are your uh, 2017, I believe. 2017, 2018 Toronto Maple Leafs. I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Is it 2017? We went through one year. No, it's 2016, 2017. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, 
I'm delusional, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, let's do another uh, s slow sim here. First period. There you go. Two one. Second period. There you go. Three to two. And there you go, boys. Offense is lighting up. I mean, I mean, again, this is this is preseason. No reason to get too excited from seeing all that, but it's just nice to see uh, guys like Barry uh, contributing so early. I knew that would be a good pickup, man. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just simulate past the rest of preseason. That's gonna take way too long if we do all that. And I do want to simulate the first month of actual season games, regular season. <laughs> So there you go. There's, there's a nice one against Detroit. Loss against Florida. Uh, all right. Whatever. It was, it was an overtime loss, too. It was the first regulation loss of uh, the preseason. Nice win against Boston. And last preseason game. All right. A loss. Fair enough. Not the actual season. Don't care about it. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're still stuck with Jonathan Bernier in that, but what can you do? We're still we're waiting for Raymakers to grow. And at this point, I, I was actually looking around the league for, oh, excuse me, for goaltenders that we could uh, possibly trade for to speed up the rebuild process even more, like John Gibson. But, like, why would Anaheim want to trade him, first of all? And then there's just no other young goaltenders around the league around the league that would that would make sense at least to trade for right now so i think we should just sort of see how raymakers grows uh throughout the next couple seasons or so so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh a, a bit of a slow rebuild that's why i made the trade for tyson barry so that it wouldn't it would uh speed up the process just a little bit so let's go here first regular season game against tampa bay let's go boys First period, there you go. Morgan Riley, Captain Morgan Riley gets the first goal of the Toronto Maple Leafs 2016-2017 season. Uh, Tyler Johnson scored on the power play as well. Second period, there you go, boys. William Nylander gets his first NHL goal. There you go, son. And Mer I don't know, <laughs> Martin Marincin, I don't know why that name slipped my head. There you go. 4-3 win against the Toronto Maple <sighs> What am I saying? <laughs> Tampa Bay Lightning, Jesus Christ. I, I, I'm all over the place today. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, Yeah, there you go. There's the scorecard. Tyson Berry got a couple of assists there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, We'll keep doing the same thing up till the scout bothers me. And then we'll check the stats and then the episode there. So let's, let's get going here. All right. 2-1. William Nylander has goals in consecutive games. That's, that's good for him. Good for, good confidence booster there on the second line. Second period there. Uh, <laughs> Matt Martin. But we're down 4-2 against the Ottawa Senators. Third period. Uh, yeah. All right. Losses are going to happen, especially with this team. So, can't be mad at that. I just want to make sure our young guys are uh, producing, you know. But uh, talk about that. W William Nylander has two goals so far. There. Oh, there you go, boys. Demers. Barry, Demers, Riley, and Nylander. Nylander has three, <laughs> has goals in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Good for him, man. Uh, second period, there you go. Josh Lievo, another young guy producing in third period. There you go, 6-2, to two, boys. Very nice. Look at the scorecard. Demers from JVR and Grabner. Barry from Hodgson and Yanmark. Demers from Yanmark. Riley from Holland. Uh, Nylander from Riley and Barry. What a what an acquisition that was. Uh, Lievo from Barry and Riley. Yeah, I'm really uh, I'm liking that Barry trade so far, boys. <laughs> I don't know if you uh, couldn't tell already. Because I mean, Barry already has five assists. Like my God, I think he compliments uh, <laughs> the rest of our team nicely, especially Nylander. That could be a filthy combo on the power play, especially. All right, so Anaheim, here we go. First period. All right, Corey Perry on uh, Jonathan Bernier. Second period, <laughs> Ryan Kessler. Third period, there you go, Kadri, but uh, too little too late. That's all right, boys. The losses are going to happen. Losses are going to happen. Again, especially with this team. And uh, <laughs> that actually breaks up Nylander's uh, scoring streak there, unfortunately. All right, LA. Let's see. There you go, first period. Janmark scores, but... 
Versteeg and Kopitar do as well for LA. Second period, there you go, JVR on Jonathan Quick. And third period, oh, we're going to a sh uh, overtime. I was about to hit, say a shootout. Holland scores one from the uh, the the slot there, and then uh, Doughty top of the slot as well. And uh, overtime, shootout, there you go, Morgan Riley. There you go. All right, so uh, let's check out this scorecard here. Uh, Hodgson. Uh, yeah, so Hodgson got two assists. That, that's good. And yeah, Mark got a goal. His first of the year. There you go, boys. Edmonton. <laughs> They're one, two, and two. Let's go, boys. First period. Second period. There you go, JBR. Third period. There you go, boys. We went 2 1. JBR and Corrado. And Everly scored for Edmonton. There you go, boys. Nylander with an assist. All right. Getting to that game against Chicago. 4 2 and 0 so far. Not bad. Not bad. Barry's a plus five. That's pretty good. Especially, again, especially for this team. I'm honestly kind of surprised at the start we're having so far. Come on, boys. Keep it up. First period. There you go, boys. JVR in Holland. Second period. There you go. William Nylander continues to produce. Third period. There you go. Grabner and Kadri. We're 5-2 and two to start the season. JVR from Barry and Yanmark. What an acquisition, man. That, that <laughs> That's already paying dividends early. Holland at Gardner from Gardner and Kalorn. Nylander from Kalorn and Grabner. Grabner from Kalorn and Nylander. Kadri from Van Riemsdyk. That is a that's a filthy second line right there now, right now, boys. They're getting it done. Five and two, man. Six assists for Barry. Four goals from Nylander. Oh boy. Yeah, that that <laughs> that's gonna happen here, Toronto. Uh Kadri and Grabner in the second period, so we're behind by two. It's, it's, it's possible to come back, but yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, a little too hopeful there. Kadri from Komarov and Barry, and Grabner from Kalorn and Demers. So at least we're getting an idea of who's producing. Uh, and, and it's the guys that we want to produce, so that's, that's good. Especially Barry, man. <laughs> He's been great so far. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go forwards again, I guess. Uh, yeah. WHL. There you go. So, let's check out the stats real quick. Then we'll end off this episode. And, uh, you guys can go crazy in the comments. Come on, boys. There you go. So, yeah, what an acquisition. Ty Tyson Berry leading our team in points. Eight, eight and eight. Uh, one plus seven. So, that's good. Uh, Nylander is seven and eight. <laughs> That's great, man. Our, our our young guys are definitely producing. That that's good. Really uh, reassuring to know. Kalorna seven assists in eight games, no goals. JVR six points. Grabner six points. Riley six points. Yanmark with five. I mean, uh, Kadri he could be doing a bit better, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Like <laughs> our team's producing. I don't care who produces as long as they produce. Someone on someone on the team produces, you know. Uh, Hodgson has four assists. That's good. Looking good so far, boys. Looking good. Only person without points, I believe, I saw was uh, Chris Stewart. Yeah, the only person without point is Chris Stewart. So, that's good so far. Uh, goaltenders, I mean, eh, could be doing a bit better, but... It's not terrible. I mean, 2.73, you know, that's understandable for Toronto. But he's he's got a save percentage of 91.28. That's pretty... That's solid. It's not it's not great, but it's solid. Uh, so, I think... Uh, I, I don't think there's any point in checking the team stats because it's a little too early to tell uh, on any of that. So, we'll just check the standings real quick. We currently sit in second, <laughs> tied for second in the Atlantic. I don't know how that's going to change over the course of the season. I'm expecting that to drop to at least fourth and fifth, but uh, we'll see. Or maybe even <laughs> the bottom of the, di the, the division. But again, we'll see what happens. And until then, 
I'll see you guys in the next one.